Um, so as this is searing now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna start cooking our fish, all right? Okay. So I have some beautiful dayboat uh, Alaskan halibut here. Um, one of the things that I look for when I'm, I'm buying fish or, is you can see the translucence here. Um, usually when the fish starts to become white, a little bit more opaque, then uh, it's getting older, all right? So this is a really nice example. You know, you can almost kind of see that green and the, she and the sheen to it. Um, so one of the things that I do is I always dry it off. To get rid of that moisture is gonna give you the best sear that, that you can get. Dr. Olmstrick, if you would grab the blended oil, and we're gonna go ahead and add this to the pan. And so what I'm looking for is the smoke point. Um, I'm gonna get this pan really hot. Really hot. And okay. if I would add it now, it's still pretty warm, you can kind of feel it. If I add it now, it's gonna end up sticking. Yep. Um, and so once you have that smoke point, then you know your fish is ready to go. You don't want it to go too long, um, because then it kind of almost denatures the oil a little bit and you'll have this weird froth that comes out in the oil when the, with the juices of the halibut. Chef, I think this is the thing I struggle with most at home and I bet most people do, right? It's like cooking uh, white fish. It's so, it's to get so it look delicate, the same way that you do. And you're right, the whole sticking to the pan thing is, is right. always the toughest part. So that's a great tip that you gave us. Yeah. Make sure the fish is super dry before you add it in. Make sure the pan's hot enough. Yes. Another thing is really the quality of the seafood. If a fish has been frozen, you're gonna break those cell walls. Uh, then the moisture is just, when you end up searing the fish, the moisture is just gonna come out into the pan um, and kill your sear, so to speak. So ah. that's another thing. I haven't seasoned this at all with salt because the salt will also pull out the moisture. All right, so now our pan is just about where we want it. Yeah, you can um, see the smoke just so starting I've, to come off of it. Yep, I've added a little white pepper to this. We usually do white pepper with all of our fish because it's a little bit more mild. So add the salt right before right you before add the fish. Right before you go, yep. Good tip. So stand back just a little bit. All I'm right. gonna go ahead and add this halibut right in here. So another key, um, or another nice tip with this is, um, as you add your fish to the pan, and this is another time when you add, if you add too much to the pan, again, same kind of thing, you're gonna kill the heat in the pan. It's Wind gonna pull them, steaming the steaming fish. The fish. Um, so I have this pretty high right now. I could probably even turn it up a little bit more. Um, so as I'm adding the fish, that's cooling down the pan. Uh, so now that my fish is all in there, in order to keep it from burning, I just want to kind of wait here until the pan returns to that temperature, all right? And then once I have it back up to the temperature, you can see it's starting to caramelize a little bit. You can really feel that heat. Now I'm gonna just kind of turn this down just a touch. I think another thing with fish, as long as you're controlling the temperature, I feel like people try to move it around too much or get involved. Fish loves to be left alone. <laughs> just um, let it be. Just let it go. 